On Christmas Day, Arsenal was sitting at the top of the league table. But just a week later, they found themselves in fourth place. That's how quickly things can change in English football. And now, with Liverpool coming to the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal is on the brink of a mini-crisis. A run of one victory in six games is a cause for concern for a team with ambitions of winning everything this year. And while Sunday's match is in the FA Cup and doesn't have any league points at stake, it will still have some impact on the title race. For Arsenal, this cup tie is an opportunity to return to form. A victory over Liverpool would wash away the frustration from recent losses to West Ham United and Fulham. But a defeat to a Liverpool team without Mohamed Salah would be a significant blow to their confidence. Salah was the one who denied Arsenal three points at Anfield in December. He has been in incredible form this season, scoring 18 goals and providing nine assists. If Arsenal can't take advantage of his absence now, what does that say about their ability to challenge Liverpool in the second half of the league campaign? The good news for Arsenal is that they should have more space to attack against Liverpool. Many teams have set up with deep defences against them this season, making it difficult for Arsenal to break through. But against Klopp's team, there will be opportunities to play a more expansive game. Teams have been adapting their tactics to stop Arsenal from playing to their strengths. They are defending deep and making it hard for Arsenal to create chances. But Arsenal sees this as a challenge and a sign of respect from their opponents. They just have to find different spaces and play well enough to overcome it. Few teams are brave enough to come to the Emirates Stadium with intentions of attacking. But when teams have tried it in the Champions League, Arsenal has punished them. They have scored 12 goals and conceded none in three home games against PSV, Lens, and Sevilla. The hope is that the next two meetings with Liverpool will be more like those Champions League ties. Football with the shackles off, as it was at Anfield, should suit Oteta's team. They will be wearing an all-white kit on Sunday as part of the club's campaign against knife crime and youth violence. Both teams know that defeat is the worst-case scenario and a draw is not desirable either. No one wants a replay, especially Arsenal who have plans for a mid-season training camp in Dubai during the winter break. Arteta wants the Football Association to consider scrapping replays next year. The FA Cup may not be the priority for either team, but Arteta knows its importance. Winning the competition in 2020 played a crucial role in him keeping his job during the difficult months that followed. The FA Cup has always mattered to Arsenal, and now is the chance for the players to show that their recent form is just a blip. Expectations are high, and Arsenal intends to meet them. They have set high standards for themselves and want to be at the top. That's what they expect and that's what they want.